it's time. From the Personal Liberty Digest Studios, we wish no one cared about Miley Cyrus. It's time for this week's Great Eight. And now, we hate the way he twerks it. Ben Crystal. Hey, Billy Ray Cyrus, you might want to stop messing with the hair and handle your daughter's business, bud, because <laughs> that's got to stop. <laughs> so, Obama wants war in Syria because the Islamofascists who run the place allegedly used chemical weapons on the Islamofascists who want to run the place. <laughs> oh, but Obama's going to be in charge, so what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> The Democrat Party turned the 50th anniversary of Dr. King's famous I Have a Dream speech into a twisted hate rally. I know, shocker. <laughs> Among the aspirants to King's legacy, race pimp Sharpton, who actually stated, quote, Rosa Parks wasn't no ho, unquote. <laughs> I'll bet that's just how Dr. King would have said it, too. <laughs> Among those not invited to speak at the rally, the lone black U.S. Senator, Republican Tim Scott of South Carolina. See, because they needed the space for all the black Democrat senators. You know, like, uh, oh, that's right, there are none. <laughs> the bad news? New Jersey Democrat senatorial candidate Cory Booker's old pal T-Bone is actually Booker's imaginary old pal T-Bone. The good news, he's got a hot date with Obama's composite girlfriend this Friday. T-Bone and Julia sitting in a tree, even though they're both imaginary. You know how there are some things you wish you could just unsee? So that happened. When Democrat Party hate group Organizing for Action asked Sewanee Poli Sci professor Dr. Andrea Hatcher to help them recruit her students, she dropped the hammer, publicly denying their request. What's wrong, Jimmy Messina? The old line's not working anymore. Hey kids, get in the van. I've got candy. <laughs> Obama announced a couple of new executive actions on gun control this week. That's so odd, because I can't seem to find the president can overrule the Bill of Rights when it suits him clause in the Constitution. <laughs> Must be the 113rd Amendment again. <laughs> and CNN's ex-talent show judge Piers Morgan honored Dr. King by tweeting that his dream is, quote, a black man will win masters at Augusta, unquote. <laughs> Yeah, because that's what Dr. King was hoping for. You know, if they could just get that Kaplan Asian dude to stop hogging all the green jackets. And that's your grade 8 for the week, kiddings, for the Personal Liberty Digest. I'm Ben Crystal asking 15 bucks an hour for what? The McLobster Thunder Award?